James Mason, a beacon of British cinematic brilliance, has left an everlasting impression in both British and American cinema. His long and versatile career was marked by his unique acting prowess, his distinctive silky voice, and his exceptional ability to portray myriad characters with equal finesse. But like any good tale, Mason's life was not just about fame and talent. It was also a saga of personal struggles, tumultuous relationships, and a fortune lost to a bitter divorce battle. Join us as Facts First UK presents James Mason's Ugly Divorce Cost Him His Whole Fortune. Early Life Born May 15, 1909 in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, Mason was the youngest of three sons. He initially pursued architecture as a career path, but the global financial crisis at the time led him to reconsider his career choice. He discovered his aptitude for acting after participating in a play for fun, but soon the stage became his preferred arena. His first stage performance was an outer shot in The Rascal in 1931. He then joined the prestigious Old Vic Theatre in London under esteemed director Tyrone Guthrie. During his time there, he performed in numerous productions, including several Shakespeare works. Many of these productions featured renowned actors like Charles Lawton and Elsa Lanchester. His career trajectory began to ascend when he seized opportunities to work in the British film industry. He gained significant recognition within the UK during the 1940s, primarily through his roles in The Seventh Veil and The Wicked Lady. His performance in Odd Man Out in 1947, the first recipient of the BAFTA Award for Best British Film, catapulted him into international fame. But in spite of his growing success, his personal life was far from tranquil. Transition to Hollywood His first wife, Pamela Colino, an aspiring actress, moved with him to Hollywood in the late 40s, a transition fraught with challenges. Mason found himself embroiled in a lawsuit after terminating a hastily signed multi-picture deal with Paramount producer David Rose due to dissatisfaction with the quality of the scripts. This legal tussle not only halted Mason's momentum, but also reinforced his reputation as a difficult artist in Hollywood. Despite these hurdles, Mason continued to shine in his craft. His performances in films like A Star is Born, North by Northwest, and Lolita earned him critical acclaim and further solidified his position as a formidable actor in Hollywood. Pamela Mason As we mentioned earlier, Mason met Pamela Colino, an English actress, author, and screenwriter. They met on the set of Troubled Waters, where a strong attraction sparked between them. Despite Pamela being married to cinematographer Roy Colino, she and Mason developed a close bond, leading to her divorce and subsequent marriage to Mason in 1940. Before we discuss their relationship further, let's look deeper into some of his most successful roles. A Star is Born In this musical drama, Mason played Norman Maine, an established but declining movie star who discovers and falls in love with an aspiring actress, played by Judy Garland. His performance showcases the struggle of a man grappling with his fading stardom and personal demons, earning critical acclaim. Lolita Mason starred as Humbert Humbert in Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of Nabokov's controversial novel. His portrayal of Humbert, a complex and morally ambiguous character, is a testament to his acting prowess. North by Northwest Directed by Alfred Hitchcock, this iconic thriller features Mason as Van Damme, a suave and sinister antagonist. Van Damme is a cold and calculating spy making Mason's performance captivating and memorable. His interactions with Cary Grant's character, Roger Thornhill, are a highlight of the film. The Verdict In this legal drama, Mason takes on the role of Ed Concanon, a shrewd and cunning defense attorney. His performance earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Odd Man Out Mason starred as Johnny McQueen, the IRA leader in this noir film. His performance received critical acclaim, for its depth and complexity, capturing the inner turmoil of a man on the run after a failed robbery. Bigger Than Life Bigger Than Life released in 1956 and marked a significant entry in James Mason's illustrious career. He took on the role of Ed Avery, a mild-mannered schoolteacher and family man who becomes addicted to a prescribed drug that dramatically alters his behavior. His performance is a tour de force, showcasing his ability to delve into the psyche of a character undergoing a radical transformation. He masterfully depicted the descent from a benevolent figure to a man consumed by megalomania, driven by the effects of the medication. 
Moving to Hollywood. As we mentioned earlier, the Masons relocated to Hollywood in the late 40s, where Mason's career skyrocketed. All seemed fine from the outside, but his marriage was far from smooth. The couple was known for their extravagant lifestyle, hosting grand parties at their mansion in Beverly Hills previously owned by Buster Keaton. Despite their outwardly glamorous life, rumors of infidelity and marital discord began to circulate. The Turbulent Divorce In 1962, Pamela filed for divorce, alleging Mason had committed adultery. Although rumors suggested Pamela herself had numerous affairs, her attorney's prowess led her to win a settlement of over a million dollars when their marriage was officially dissolved in 1964. It was one of the most extravagant divorce settlements of the time, leading her attorney, Marvin Mitchelson, to become a sought-after celebrity divorce lawyer. The Aftermath The divorce took a toll on Mason's financial status, nearly depleting his entire fortune. Despite the financial setback, he continued to work in the film industry, and no doubt this was some relief yet he never managed to fully recover all he had earned. The divorce proceedings resulted in what was then America's first $1 million divorce settlement, leaving Mason virtually penniless. Mason's Later Years Despite the turbulence in his personal life, his career continued to flourish. He received numerous award nominations for his performances, including three Academy Award nominations. He also won a Golden Globe in 1955 for his role in A Star is Born. In 1971, he married Australian actress Clarissa Kay. His later years in the film industry were marked by notable performances in films like The Boys from Brazil and Heaven Can Wait. He passed away July 27, 1984, from heart failure. His ashes were interred near the tomb of his close friend, Charlie Chaplin. His life, marked by extraordinary talent, personal struggles, and a fortune lost to a bitter divorce, continues to be remembered and celebrated in cinema. His filmography spans over five decades, with over a hundred films to his credit. Some of his most notable performances include Julius Caesar, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Georgie Girl, Lolita, Bigger Than Life, North by Northwest, Heaven Can Wait, The Boys from Brazil, and The Verdict. He received three Academy Award nominations, three Golden Globe nominations, winning one for A Star is Born, and two BAFTA Award nominations. And despite not winning an Oscar, his performances have left a lasting legacy in the cinematic world. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of James Mason? What's your favorite film that he was in? Let us know in the comments section below.